Hey guys, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel, share and like. Also, if you wanna talk directly to me, uh, follow me on Instagram. My Instagram is on the video description. Uh, anything related to niche perfumery, feel free to send me a message there. I'll gladly answer any questions. So uh, in this video, I'll be talking about uh, Gala from Jazil Perfumes. Uh, I have talked about Jazil Perfumes in past videos. Uh, I have talked about uh, WID. I have reviewed WID, which is their offering for the hot weather. Today I'm reviewing Gala, which is for sure uh, one of their best, if not their best offering for the cold weather. And uh, like the title says, this is definitely one of the best oud rose combos in the market right now. So uh, let's get started with the presentation. Gala comes in this beautiful, gorgeous looking box. Look at this. Beautiful presentation. Gala comes in parfum concentration. Most of Jazoo fragrances come in uh, Eau de Parfum. This one is a parfum. The lock here is magnetic. So the fragrance is presented this way. Beautiful, luxurious presentation. Here you have a letter with a message from the house. Here's the signature from the perfumer. Uh, the perfumer behind this fragrance is Zala Zibi. There's two uh, perfumers that work for Jazil. One is Zala Zibi and the other is Chris Maurice or Christian Carbonell, who also works for Zerjoff. So here we have the bottle. Let me wipe this off. Look at this gorgeous bottle. Very luxurious and expensive looking. So let's talk about the notes. Uh, for Gala, we have top notes of Kalakas Yud, uh, Indian Absolute Rose, and Turkish Rose. In the heart, we have Ambergris, Frankincense, and Cedarwood. In the base, we have Sandalwood, Patchouli, Vetiver, and Pure Indian Oud. So here we have two types of oud and two types of rose. So uh, what does Gala smell like? Uh, so like the title says, uh, and I said earlier, uh, Gala is a oud rose combo, the famous and very successful oud rose combo. But here you for sure have one of the best oud rose combos in the market right now. Uh, like I said, uh, Gala is a comes in parfum concentration. Gala is also made of 100% natural ingredients, uh, which are also very hard to, uh, to collect. So uh, Gala production is kind of limited. There is a limited amount of uh, bottles they can make per year because of, of how hard it is to find the, the ingredients used here and because also they are 100% naturals. So uh, I'll spray here, as you can see, the color of the juice is very dark. Look at this, 
very dark. Like I said, 100% uh, naturals. Uh, so, uh, like I was saying, how does this one smell like? Oud Rose Combo, famous Oud Rose Combo. Uh, I get a lot of the rose here, is what I get the most. For the first two hours, this fragrance is completely dominated by the rose, followed by the oud. Like I said, two types of rose and two types of oud here. Uh, so for the first two hours, I get a lot of this rose, very photorealistic rose, very, very, very natural rose, very strong and potent also. So you have this photorealistic, uh, very strong and potent rose, very natural smelling, followed by the oud. Uh, the oud here uh, is very clean, in my opinion. It is not a, a feco oud or animalic or anything like that. Maybe a tiny bit animalic, but uh, nothing feco. Uh, to me, to me, it is a clean oud. I would say this one is a clean oud. Uh, very easy to like oud, to be honest. But a very strong and potent one also. So, like I said, you have this very potent, strong, photorealistic, natural smelling rose. Followed by this natural, uh, also very strong and potent oud. Very clean, in my opinion. Nothing feco here. Uh, then uh, I got a little bit of the frankincense, which gives this incense touch to the fragrance. Then I get a, a little bit of the patchouli, a little bit of the vetiver, uh, a bit of ambergris, a little, uh, some woodiness coming from the cedar wood and the sandalwood. But uh, like I said, uh, what dominates this whole composition is the rose followed by the oud. The other notes are just giving the whole composition a final touch. Some, they're more uh, of the supporting notes. Uh, so the fragrance uh, stays like this for about two hours. Then after the two hours mark, the roses, they, they calm down a little bit. They become a little bit uh, lighter, I would say, but not so light. Uh, and, uh, and the oud comes out more. So uh, after the two hours mark, instead of getting more rose followed by the oud, you start getting oud followed by the rose. And the fragrance stays like that until the, the, the end of the dry down. Uh, it's kind of linear. Uh, uh, there's nothing complex here in my opinion. Uh, like I said, this is pretty much wood, rose, incense, and uh, a tiny bit of a, a tiny bit of the other notes. But this is an amazing fragrance, guys. Like I said, 100% naturals, very potent and strong fragrance. Uh, very Middle Eastern wood rose combo. Extreme high quality of ingredients. Uh, it has a performance. It has the quality. It has a smell. Uh, so. Uh, if you like oud rose combos, you're gonna love this fragrance. And this one is also very masculine. I, I, I don't see a woman pulling this one off. Like, uh, in my opinion, it is impossible to, for a woman to pull this one off. Too strong for a woman, too masculine. Like I said, very, very strong rose here. Very natural smelling, very masculine rose, followed by oud. Like I said, Two types of roses, you have two types of roses here and two types of oud. A little bit incense a little bit woody. Uh, a tiny green touch to it coming from the vetiver, very tiny. Uh, also a little bit of freshness coming from the patchouli. But uh, very strong and potent uh, juice you, you have here. Uh, versatility, this is definitely cold weather fragrance, uh, to me this is impossible to wear in any other season, definitely uh, specific for the colder seasons. Uh, this is definitely a night time fragrance, more for formal situations in my opinion, can be, can be worn casually also, but uh, I see it more as a formal uh, occasion fragrance, but definitely a nighttime 
cold water fragrance. Uh, performance here, I got about a 12 hours longevity. Projection is very strong for the first two hours. Then after the two hour mark, uh, it projects, uh, it has moderate projection. And about the, uh, after the six, seven hour mark, uh, it sits closer to the skin, but you still get some very nice whiffs of it. Uh, there's no sweetness here at all. Uh, I'd say there's zero sweetness here. Like I said, this is very, very masculine, very potent and strong. So, uh, like I said, if you like Oud Rose, uh, Oud, Oud Rose combos, you're gonna love this fragrance. Like I say, like I said, and I'll say it again, uh, very uh, photorealistic, potent, strong, natural smelling rose here. Very, very, very masculine. Followed by a clean oud, clean natural oud. Nothing feckle here. Uh, it's not the kind of oud that will uh, that uh, that you will not like. That will push people off. This is a very likable oud, for sure. Uh, but uh, like I said, this is a very potent and strong fragrance. Uh, limit yourself to two sprays, maximum of three sprays. I usually go with two sprays uh, with this one. Uh, too potent, too strong. Uh, if you go more than two, three sprays, you will for sure uh, get a headache and you <laughs> will choke people around you. Uh, so uh, to me, Gala is probably the best fragrance from Jazil right now. Uh, I actually like some of their of of their other offerings more, but uh, I can see this one as being their best fragrance for sure. I have some friends who own this fragrance and they love it. And I personally also like this one a lot, but uh, I have other Oud Rose combos that I like more than this one, like Dasman from Bogdicia, for example. So uh, that's it. Uh, if you guys have any questions uh, when I do a review, if you want uh, more specific information about any fragrance, just uh, leave in the comments below, I'll try to answer. Uh, also, feel free to send me messages on Instagram, I'll gladly answer them. So, uh, if you like Oud Rose combos, you will for sure love this one. Like I said, 100% uh, naturals, very potent and strong, very Middle Eastern. Um, so I'll give my final ratings for this fragrance. Uh, it's for the scent, I'll give it a nine out of 10. Uh, the only reason I will not give this more than a nine is because I have other Oud Rose combos here that, that I like more, I enjoy more. However, to a lot of people, I'm sure this one is a 10 out of 10. So uh, for the performance, I'll give this a nine out of 10. Like I said, uh, around 12 hours longevity on my skin and projects very strong and heavily for the first two hours. Then after that until the four to six hours mark, moderate projection. Then after that, it's just closer to the skin, but it used to get some very strong whiffs of it. Uh, Versatility, I'll give this a uh, six, seven out of 10. Like I said, uh, this is uh, this is only for the cold weather, very cold weather, I would say, uh, and more of a casual night, I mean, uh, more of a formal nighttime fragrance. It's very hard to pull this one off, to be honest, in my opinion. It needs to be very cold nighttime and formal situation, in my opinion. And like I said, limit yourself uh, to two sprays, maximum of three sprays. I usually go for two, like I said, but a maximum of three sprays. Otherwise you're gonna choke people off uh, and you're gonna get a head at yourself. So uh, amazing fragrance. Uh, 
this is a great house that is worth checking out. I ha I love all of their fragrances. I have uh, they have five fragrances. I have four of their five fragrances, and I love them all. I enjoyed them all a lot. This is not my favorite from the house because this is too strong and potent for me, and uh, I like other wood rose combos. Like I said, like Dasman which is a softer, smoother rose with a little bit of sweetness. But uh, fantastic fragrance, fantastic house. Simply amazing. One of their best houses in the niche perfumery as of today, I would say. Probably my top six favorite houses. So, uh, hope you guys liked the video. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. If you have friends who like perfumes, who like niche perfumery, share uh, share the channel with them. Let let them know, let them know let them know about the channel. Uh, I'll I'll be very grateful. So uh, thank you very much for watching. See you on the next one.